For years, Phil Spector was a certified hit maker, a music producer whose iconic songs and unique sound topped the charts. He was a Grammy winner and was eventually inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But after he had been out of the music spotlight for years, damaged by drug abuse and his own eccentric reputation, he was suddenly back in the headlines, accused and later convicted of murder. In 2003, 40-year-old Lana Clarkson was found dead inside Spectre's Southern California mansion. His defense argued the expiring actress shot herself, claiming she kissed the gun before it went off. But after one mistrial, Spectre was convicted in 2009 of second-degree murder. His legacy will forever be that of a convicted murderer who happened to write songs. Following Spectre's death, Lana Clarkson's family wrote that she was a warm, compassionate, kind, loving woman who would be 58 years old now. Four decades earlier, Spectre ruled the charts, transforming pop music with his arrangements and groundbreaking production techniques, including the influential Wall of Sound. Spectre's catalog includes classics from the Beatles, Ike and Tina Turner, and the Righteous Brothers, along with girl groups like the Ronettes, whose lead singer Ronnie would become his second wife. Ronnie Spector later accused Phil of horrifying abuse. After his death, she posted, Phil was not able to live and function outside of the recording studio. Darkness set in, many lives were damaged. But adding, I still smile whenever I hear the music we made together and always will. For today, Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Los Angeles. All right. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.